one. All right, so these are really cool. They're the T-Rexes also, but they're the sparkling kinds. And it's fun to get these sets, like if you're new to alcohol ink, um, because they go by like the colors, like this is cool earth tones. So you know that all of these is gonna look kind of cool together anyway. You don't have to worry about, you know, is this the right color or whatever. It can be an issue <laughs> for me. So, welcome. Oh yay, another follower. You guys, if you're just popping in, I don't have any ink on my hands, so just so you know. If you're just popping in and you give me a follow, you'll be entered to win the Unicorn Spit Painting on canvas. And it, it has been resined. So that's just a thank you for some lucky follower. Hopefully. Lucky. Thank you, and I will follow you all back. Okay, let me find my airbrush thing. Do with my little airbrush. This was not uh, an expensive airbrush at all, but it is perfect for what I use it for. And what I use it for is just pushing the ink around um, in just various ways. I don't put the ink in here, though I could, but I don't. I just use it for the air. I would love to learn more of how to do the airbrushing. I just love the the way it looks. It's just I I haven't taken the time to to learn it. So what you want to use is the a strong alcohol like the 91 percent alcohol and then you'll also want a blending solution and I always thought well maybe it's not that important but really it it is <laughs> you do need a a uh, clear blender of some sort so the blender will give you a nice, soft, smooth transition between the colors, where as the stronger the alcohol, the 91%, it will like lift that ink up. So sometimes you want that, and then sometimes you don't. If I can. Anyway, I really like this one too, because it was easy to learn how to use. It's just one little, little button that you turn on and then you just have one little button on the top <laughs> anyone can use it and then when you shut it off make sure that you uh, push the air out and don't leave it in there but that's pretty much all there is to that so anyone can learn to use it I'm still in the process of learning I have some um, alcohol ink paintings up posted way down towards the bottom because <laughs> it's been a while right. usually what I like to do is just start with kind of a dark color a base color and if I want it nice and soft I can go ahead and put my blending solution right down on my paper and then as I start pushing it around, it'll be a softer blend. And I might, I might do that. I'm not sure. So. Let me just start with those two for right now, but this monsoon looks pretty too, but I don't have any. And I've got a sparkle. Okay. This will work. Smaller pieces for pendants like the size of your necklace. Yes, it would. Good morning from Michigan. Yes, I got some um, that I painted on cabochons, the glass, clear glass cabochon, and then you just drop them in one of those bezels and tie a cord around it. I really like them. So fun and so fast. 
been, it's been a while. It's been a minute since I've done this. Let me just set this over here. I like to just kind of shake them up good and then set them aside with the cap open because you need to be able to get to it. The thing with alcohol inks is, um, especially with the strong alcohol, is how fast they uh, dry. So, anyway, it's a good thing. It's also a bad thing. <laughs> so, I'm just going to go ahead without any blending solution. I'm just going to put a couple drops down here and there. And then I'm going to dry it. So I don't want to blow it real a lot. I just want it kind of dry. So I'm coming from the top. Ooh, that one went wild. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to be disappointed on this art project because I have no goal <laughs> except just enjoy the process. I have no music on either. That's so sad. I'm going to go ahead and put just a touch of the sparkle. And what this is, is it's, it's like a blender in the sense that it's a soft alcohol. What I call soft alcohol is not the 91%, but it's got sparkle. So well, there's that. So I'm just going to drop it there and just blow it. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, that one was, that one was harsh. I'm just going to go ahead and do all of them like that now. I love the color though. Let's do a different, a different color. I just want to play in it a little bit. I'm gonna mix around, turn it into something pretty. Let me use my blender. Sorry, I'm not reading. Oh yeah, I definitely want to stay out of the hospital. Okay, so there's your blender. It's nice and soft. Just allowed it to become a little more liquid. Let me see, let me show you what this, I believe this is the 91% and I'm just gonna spritz it. So you can see the picked up all of the dark parts. Look how cool that looked. Oh, I like it. Let's make it run a little. Oh, that's neat. doing the alcohol inks for just a background and then going ahead and finishing with um, acrylics. Love that combination. I'm just using sparkle like crazy. It's going to be pretty when I get done though. So it's very light to medium to super dark here. So let's go ahead and find a green just for fun. This is kind of mossy looking. And I'm gonna go ahead and put just a touch of blender down first, then the mossy, and then blow. Just back and forth. I don't want it going all over the place yet. Okay, 
create that line a little bit. There's something about the alcohol inks that if you want to do florals, they are just so easy. It just kind of automatically happens. Don't look for a floral in here. It's, it's not gonna um, it's not gonna automatically happen on this one. edges. I really like this mossy green stuff right here. Let me see what I've got. Is any of this? Let's see what this does. Oh, this is like a little brush. Let's see what happens if I just... Okay, so I can make edges. Well, that's cool. Little fluty looking edges. Fluty. Alcohol inks is like, I always want to just do flowers and fairies, ballerinas and I don't know why, it just, it brings that out. <laughs> the party. I'm gonna add a little bit more of a light blue in here somewhere. Let's see what this does. Blending solution. Like a mad scientist over here, hold on. Fun. I just love all the pretty colors and layers that you get just automatically. Good morning. Hey, Shannon. Welcome, honey. My daughter, you guys. Give her a follow, my little moderator. <laughs> yeah, I've been up all night. Couldn't sleep, so... Why not just play with alcohol ink? Good morning. Have some. So Maddie is 16, Shannon. You have a 16 year old. <laughs> she is so beautiful. That candle you had on her cake, it just flopped open, flames everywhere. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> well, honey, if you're old, then that makes me a fossil, so you're not old from my perspective. <laughs> I refuse to, to be a fossil. <laughs> and it was so cute because Maddie was holding Patrick back, <laughs> and he was trying. He kept watching... When can I blow those candles out? <laughs> and then Savvy reached over, <laughs> put her hand over his mouth and blew the candles. <laughs> That's so funny. It just happened to be that type of timing. 
I'm just gonna take the edge of this little thing and 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 draw little petals. That's what I'm doing with that blue right there. I'm just drawing them out a little bit and then I might add a little bit of blending solution, more alcohol, but I might not. They are hilarious. They, they crack me up. Oh, this blue. Ooh, see, this is why I do art because I have no idea what I'm doing. I can come in here and start playing around. And look, I have, I have like a beautiful blue flower. It looks like a flower to me. I don't know. So therefore it is. <laughs> Isn't that cool though? I mean, it just pretty much just does it on its own. Given the opportunity. Very pretty. I like this little brush thing. Oops, just threw the cap on the floor. Thank you. Yeah, that was so pretty. I just really like that. Hmm. Who knew? Okay, so let's add a little more whatever. Oh, we have another follower. Welcome and good luck. It has been fun um, doing the giveaway for Christmas because there was a lot of people doing a lot of things and I thought, what do I want to do? Do I want to do anything? And at first I thought, no. And then I started thinking about it and I thought, yeah, I really do want to do something. And just as a thank you for new followers or whatever, and in 2022 with a nice finish. So that's what I'm doing. And I have met a lot of cool people for my art tribe by doing this. So that's a benefit. So I'm trying to make a wing, y'all. Y'all. I want my heat gun. A lot of times if you don't want the actual piece to be moving but more drying, then use a low pressure heat gun. <laughs> I think it was like 12 bucks on Amazon. And that'll dry up the alcohol so you don't have to worry about losing what you're drawing down there. Hopefully. Let's see if I can just get her wing to be a little bit more certain. The best of both worlds. We got alcohol ink and this plastic <laughs> brush, which I'm absolutely loving. Yay. And I do think I want her wing to, she wants to be up. Both wings are going to be up. Okay, so a messy butterfly so far. And I'd like to take some color back out. So I'm going to use my sparkly blender. So I'll take color out and leave sparkle. <laughs> that sounds like a good combination subscribe. Just follow me and I'll follow you. We'll just be friends. I'm just blending this brush crazily. Don't know why. Um, but I'm thinking it's looking really super cool. <laughs> and I may have to just 
I don't know what to do with it. Hold on. Could just make it like water and it could be a reflection. And this is where I just totally ignore you. Oh, <laughs> sorry. It's like you get lost. It's like, wait, I've got issues of art. I can't visit. Okay, with some work, with some detail, this could actually end up to be a pretty cool painting with a little bit of finesse here. In 2023, there will be some wire, some acrylic, some unicorn spit, alcohol inks, definitely resin. And um, I still don't think I'm picking oils back up again, but but that's what we're doing. So I hope you hang out with me. This is a thank you for one lucky person, hopefully, to uh, win because you followed me somewhere between now and Christmas. That's how you get entered. And it is a unicorn spit painting. That's this stuff no acrylic polymer in it. It's really cool. It's non-toxic. Jasmine scented. And then I resined it. So good luck to everybody and thank you for playing. <laughs> and you guys have a great Christmas if I don't see you tomorrow, okay? Love and light to everybody and thank you, Shannon. Thank you for being the best moderator and the super best daughter ever. All right. Love and light. Bye.